Hey, what's up guys, Brent here, your Cape Town promo guy, and welcome to my channel. In this video today, guys, I'm gonna be showing you how I make up a promotional mouse pad. Mouse pads are awesome as promo products, and I can guarantee you it's gonna ensure your next meeting with that client that you give promotional mouse pad to. So let's get into the video. What's happening, guys? Super excited for the video. I'm always excited to chat about promotional products. Today we've got the mouse pad on the cards. I'm going to show you guys how I make up the mouse pad. I'm also going to show you where I got the free image from, how I manipulated the image to give it some sort of authenticity for blueprint promotions. And then we're going to go into the bulk of the video where I actually make up the mouse pad. I'm going to show you guys how I print it, press it. But before I get into all of that, I want to chat to you guys a little bit about promotional products, okay? Guys, promotional products aren't a difficult thing to work with. You know, often I get guys that are like, ah, oh, we don't need them in our business. Uh, what must, how am I supposed to use them? How am I supposed to make it worth my while? I work with small businesses and guys don't want to spend money on things that they think that doesn't work or won't be able to benefit them or give them returns or bring them new clients. But I'm telling you guys, I'm sold out on promotional products, especially a mouse pad because it is so handy when it comes to brand awareness, okay? And let me just break that down slightly for you guys before we get into making up this mouse pad. With promotional products, you always want to try and find um, the promotional product that is going to be most visible um, to your client and have the most brand awareness and effect out there that you can sort of, you know, hone in on. Okay, so a mouse pad definitely does that. A mouse pad is going to sit on your desk with your logo. It's going to be in the front of the eye all day long, especially if you are giving it to uh, a receptionist or a sales lady of some sort that is sitting at a desk all the time or a merchandise buyer of some sort that is always at their desk, okay? And that's really what you wanna try and get to. So the other promo items that are also always very handy is your pens and your mugs. These are your standard, sort of um, well-used promotional items because they work. Okay guys, so we are on my desktop here and I just wanna quickly just open up my browsers quickly here and I wanna show you guys, we are on the free site, free pick. This is a really well-known site and you can get free images from the site and it really works well for guys like me who wanna make up some promo products like a mouse pad so here we have uh, the search icon and um, i've just searched calendar 2024 and you can see going down this is the image that i chose so it's very easy you just click the download and you know you get your download and it's really awesome um, if you guys don't know about free pick, I'm sure most designers and guys who are in some sort of branding uh, do know about free pick. Um, it's very easy, very handy, and they've given me everything that I need. Um, let me open up. You basically get the ES, uh, the EPS, which I use, will use in the, in my Illustrator. Um, program to manipulate it somehow and yeah it comes out really nicely let me show you guys quickly what i did in illustrator so from my initial initial um, um, image that i was given here that's the initial um, image that's given to me i've just opened it up in photo up in illustrator and then we've just you know manipulated the colors you can see how it's um, nicely you know highlighting and I've just changed the I changed that to a black because that is my um, primary colors of black um, blue 
uh, white and gray. Yeah, so I'm used, so I've just gone and changed the colors here. I changed that to black and I've also gone and changed the colors um, within the numbers here uh, just to, you know, give more of a blueprint promotions look to it you know so i've changed the colors on the two the zero the two and the four i've changed that to black changed it all to black and then i've also gone into the actual um, names of the months and i've changed that as well you can see i've changed that to black so it's really come out nicely uh, compared to that I've also added my logo in as well, and I've just made it look more authentic to Blueprint Promotions. I'm not gonna add anything else to this. I think it's come out really nicely just to change the colors to fit my um, company profile, my company um, ID. And yeah, it just looks really good like this. And, um, but my last, change that I did was I changed the blueprint promotions to white um, because I felt that uh, the original colors of the logo were sort of clashing with the black but as you can see now the white has just come out and really made the logo pop on the black it really looks nice it's complementing the mouse pad now and this is my final um, image I can show you guys uh, compared to the one that I've got from Free Pick. You can see how I changed the colors up to complement and to bring out my, you know, company ID. So after I have finished up setting up the, um, the artwork and just preparing it for the print, I am going to go and um, open it up in my Coral Draw uh, folder, my Coral Draw program. Coral Draw is the program I use that is linked to my printer. Um, so in the next section, this was really just, um, yeah, set nicely in the, the program. And yeah, you can see there, it's um, pretty nicely on the page. And really, all I have to do now is go and print it up. Um, one thing to remember, we're always going to be mirroring the image when we are sending it to the printer. Otherwise, you get a mouse pad that is the wrong way around because you always have to mirror it. So our next step is to go and do the printing. And that's what we will do now in the next step. That comes out nice and quickly and as you can see it is mirrored so that when I do print it, it is printed basically on like that and it comes out correctly. If you guys can see <laughs> the reflection, the 2024, that's how we printed. So yeah, came out very nicely. So here we have the sublimated paper ready, all printed up, and we've got our mask pad ready to go, the sublimated paper and the mask pad. We've also got our um, heat tape ready to go and our press. Our press is gonna be set at 175 degrees Celsius. We are turning it on at the moment and getting it ready. You can see 175 there waiting to go and to heat up to get to that um, temperature cool guys so while my press is getting nice and hot i am going to set up the sublimated paper on the mouse pad and uh, we're going to get pressing this mouse pad so let's get over here um, we have our mouse pad and then obviously our sublimation paper and as I explained to you guys, it is um, printed in reverse because I will be laying it down and then um, applying it to the mouse pad, you know, upside down. 
because we are putting it into the press upside down so that when it is the image is pressed onto the mouse pad it is the right way up so in this section here i'm just going to be using my heat tape like i showed you in the previous previous section of the video and we're just going to be securing the mouse pad to the sublimation paper so that we don't have the mouse pad shifting when i am pressing the um you know when this press goes down on the mouse pad you don't want the sublimation paper actually shifting that's the last thing you want because then you're not going to get a good print it's going to be skew and yeah you don't want skew prints on mouse pads <laughs> so let me put it in the heat is set for 175 degrees celsius i'm going to be pressing it for 75 seconds and uh yeah let's get that into the press so that we can have a new promotional mouth pad so 75 seconds to go and you got your, uh, yourself a new mouse pad that is really how easy it is to make up these mouse pads and um yeah guys if you're looking for your own mouse pads um i'm gonna have my email address at the bottom of the description in the video so you guys can get hold of me for mouse pads any promotional product really pens mugs your standard promo products i've got lots lots more for your new events your marketing strategy or your promotion that you and your business want to have you know to promote your business or brand and um, we got 25 seconds there i'm gonna hang out until that is ready with you guys and if you are enjoying the video definitely give me a like love to hear what you think of this video comment below and, let me, and tell me what you think of this so long so press is done there and that is ready to be taken out of the press so let's check how this has come out cool so i normally just use um a ruler because it obviously is quite hot or you could just wait until it cools down a bit uh, but i always like to get the ruler out and then just take the page off and as you can see that mouse pad is looking really nice uh, i'm super chuffed with that it came out very nicely and um, i've got myself a new mouse pad for my desk i'm going to be using this one for my desk this is just a tester uh, to check how they come out and yeah the reason why i really like these mouse pads especially a calendar mouse pad is because this is going to sit on my desk um, i'm going to be able to actually use this mouse pad not only for my mouse okay but i'm going to be use it, be able to use it to check dates and you know set up my next meeting and that is really the goal that you want to do uh, you want to try and incorporate something where um, you're using uh, one pro promo product for many things okay and that hopefully can ensure your next meeting with your next client because you want to give him or her a mouse pad and then you want to schedule a meeting with them in a few weeks time and you tell them as a joke just jot it down on your mouse pad and make a note on that specific date that you want to have that meeting with them so it's kind of a fun promo product um, to to uh, to have and yeah it's just fun in the end run uh, to make up these mouse pads so lacquer guys i hope you enjoyed the video definitely uh give this video a like if you enjoyed it if you like to see 
more of these sort of tutorial type videos, definitely hit me up in the comments. We'd love to hear from you guys. But until next time, we'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, cheers.